Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here with Jones and the Good Fit and our live cooking show coming to you live from the Jones and to Good Fit kitchen or my kitchen, you know, Spencer Jones, our kitchen. You've seen it before if you watched our show. Today we have a viewer recipe for you all. I can't wait, it's so exciting. So a shout out to Robert and your son for suggesting this recipe uh, two weeks ago when we had our last live cooking show. Um, so thank you, Robert, for uh, showing this show to your family, right? And watching it as a family and sharing this. I can't wait. It is something crazy, something different. I've never heard of this before. So I had to get creative. And I talked to Robert like, oh, what is this all about? So I took my own twist with it. So it's a Jones and a Gifford version of a taco spaghetti. Yeah, crazy, right? Like tacos and spaghetti. Spaghetti tacos. I think of, when I say spaghetti tacos, I think of a taco shell with, like, spaghetti in it. It just doesn't sound that appealing to me. Maybe to some people, sure, but not for me. So what we're doing is we're making taco spaghetti, right? Sounds similar, to switch the words around a little bit. But I'm going to show you how to make a taco so um, sauce, the meat, and all that good stuff that is flexible for you to use. Um, you could use a lot of different things. We'll talk about it. I'll show you how I make it and then and how we're going to make it into a healthy spaghetti for you all so let's go check out our ingredients first of all we'll bring you on down it's this one takes a little bit of time it took uh took me a little bit to prep it all so um like honestly cutting up everything took about 15 minutes so not that bad but it's helpful to prep this stuff so we have i don't know if you can see that over there we have ground cumin over there we got chili powder paprika, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. We have some coconut oil. Any type of oil would really work for you, so whatever's best. Um, I'm just using coconut oil. You could use um, safflower oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, stuff like that. Olive oil could work, but it's a little a little burn point, so I'd avoid that one. That's just me. All right, we have two cloves of garlic. There, you can see it over there, two cloves of garlic. Um, we have one shallot, all chopped up. You could use a white onion, yellow onion, whatever you want, really. If you have something in your garden, that much better. I just like shallots. That's just me. Um, red pepper back there. Um, again, feel free to use any color pepper you want. Green, red, purple, pink, you know, that stuff. We have one can, a regular size can, of black um, beans. So black beans there. And two corn on the cobs. Uh, cut the corn off so like scraped off corn on the cob i cooked it beforehand i would highly suggest cooking it you cook in the microwave you can on the stove the grill stuff like that anyway you want to cook it and then just cut the corn off right like if you had braces like that we have one can of hunt's tomato sauce um i love it i can no salt added added i can talk honestly healthier a zucchini uh a veggie spaghetti maker called a veg eddie Hold it together now, boys. It's a veggie. I know, crazy. Anyway, and uh, some shredded chicken. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's get this party started here. I got the stove on already in the back here, um, just so we can get the cast iron, this big cast iron pot going. I have about a medium heat right now. I'm just trying to get everything happening. Let's move you over so you can kind of see the whole action. There we go. So, again, I'm using coconut oil, up to you what you'd like to use. We're going to put some in our big skillet here. You can use cast iron, um, any pan you like really works. So we're going to put some on here, it's a little liquidy, that's alright. Perfect. We need some in this pan too. Put some right in there just for later. Alright, awesome. So, I'm using chicken. Um, you could use ground turkey, you can use ground beef, you could use fish, you could use you know anything you like. Um, for I'm using ground or I'm sorry shredded chicken so what I did this takes a little bit more time and prep but it's really super easy to do if you have a slow cooker um, so what I did I used a slow cooker and so we had three uh, chicken breast that I put in there with two cups of water now there might be a little too much water but really I'd much rather have it have water than be dry and burned and gross so two cups of water three chicken breasts with the seasonings you see back here, a little cayenne, a little paprika, a little chili powder, a little cumin, just like, yeah, three, four shakes, um, except for the cayenne, that was one shake. And then just let that go, turn it on low for six, eight hours, you know, throughout the entire day. I had it going at eight o'clock, took it off at five, and um, this stuff, you take it up, put it on a plate, it just pulls apart. 
so easy and you get beautiful shredded chicken this way and then I put some of the extra water um, the, the juices and all that the fat that come from and I just uh, put that on here to help keep it nice and moist freaking delicious so that's how I did that so that's how you can do it you can make ground turkey ground beef whatever you like fish if you wanted it's all good all right whatever you want so we got our pan going here we got our pan uh, heating up here with the oil that we put in get that oil spread all around a little trick with a big pan like this. There we go. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we have two cloves of garlic in our shallots. Chopped up minced up garlic and chopped up uh, onions, all right? Shallots, again, you can use anything you like. Um, you could use chili powder, uh, or sorry, um, garlic powder or onion powder. That's cool. Feel free to do that. I'm just... Uh, using the real stuff, like if you got it from your garden. I didn't get it from my garden. We've talked about this before. I'm not a huge fan of gardening. I don't like the products from it. Just not the work of it. I'm so lazy. It's okay. When it comes to this, we the working out. All right, so we're gonna let that brown in the pan here until the onions and really the, the garlic becomes translucent. You get that down to about a medium heat. Remember, if you're cooking in a cast iron pan, that that's gonna hold the heat a little bit longer than you know another type of pan like the nonstick that I have here. So as that's cooking down, just turn around and make sure it doesn't burn. And so you can go back, keep stirring that a little bit. We're going to prep our zucchini here. So what I suggest doing is chopping off that end. There we go, nice little prep. And so you got a flat end there, and you got the stem on one side. So all you're going to need to do, be very careful, it's sharp. There's a thin side and a thick side. You can pick these up at most stores, um, Target, Walmart, online. They have uh, different names for them, but just see what you can find. Or you can cut them up with a knife if you like. I just like this because it's a little bit um, thinner than even when I cut it with a knife. So I'm using the thick setting, and we'll show you what happens. So stick it in, and then you push in and you twist. Make sure you don't go get your fingers in there because it hurts. I've done it. It hurts. You can see already, it's coming out with nice long strands and it comes out pretty easy. You gotta keep pushing and twisting. Push and twist and push and twist and just keep going. It's another workout, right? Feeling your forearm, biceps, your shoulders a little bit. Whoop, getting crazy. And then the center of it pops out, has a hole in there. I don't know if you can see. So it's up center. So this works great for you can use um, squash, zucchini, cucumbers possibly. I'm using cucumbers, but I'm sure you could. Let me get these big strands, and I go as far as I can without cutting myself. There we go. It's always a good thing not to cut yourself. And it comes out with a cute little end. Oh, it's so cute. Aww. And you just toss it aside for later. You know, to throw in the garbage later, as in that. We'll throw them right in there, and there we go. This right here is your spaghetti. This is it. How cool is that? Simple, easy, healthy spaghetti. And I'll show how we can make that ultra tasty um, with just a couple little extra things. It bumps up the flavor. It gets rid of that veggie taste from it. I shouldn't say get rid of it. It um, diminishes that veggie taste from it. So if you have kids and, and you know they're not trying veggies, you can't pass it up and say, hey, this is spaghetti and like fool them. But if you can have them try it, it's going to taste a lot better than just like, oh, you put raw vegetables on my plate, in my opinion. Okay, already our garlic is um, translucent, our onions are doing really well, it's starting to get browned up a little bit. We are going to throw in, this all happens really quick, we're going to throw in our red peppers, and you can use any peppers um, you like, again, red, green, yellow, orange, whatever, stir those in. Just real quick, a nice little brown in them, so helps get a color on, on it. Perfect. You know I say perfect a lot. It's because it's perfect. It's so tasty. It's wonderful. Mmm. All right. Let that go. I don't know if you know the shirt I'm wearing. A shout out to Beachbody Performance. If you, uh, just a quick shout out. If you, I love their Energize. It's uh, my pre-workout drink. All natural. If you're looking for completely all natural stuff for your workouts, whether it's uh, like a pre-workout to help you get through those last couple reps, give you some extra energy. It helped me in my triathlon. I paid, uh, placed first in my age group. Score! 
totally wasn't expecting it, but I'm sure without the beach pot energized helping me go through, would have done it. And recovery things, um, hydrate to help you stay hydrated, all that stuff. Uh, check them out and let me know if you want some. I can hook you up with them. And yeah, anyway, beach pot performance. Shout out to you. Awesome stuff. Love this shirt too. Okay, so really quickly we're going to throw our beans and our two corn on the cobs that our corn sliced off of. We're going to toss that in the pan. There's the beans. Here's the corn. Get all that out. I'm stumbling a little bit here. I have burned this underneath my feet, so don't mind me if I fall and die. It's all good. All right. We're going to bring you over here, show you this really quick before I add in our other ingredients. As I, said, as I said before, it's going to happen real quick. So, we'll bring you over so you get a closer look. Boom. Check that out. You have your corn, the beans, the um, peppers, onions, garlic, mm -hmm. all in there. Frying up with a little bit of oil. Mm. So freaking amazing, man. It's amazing. Okay, so we got that going. We're going to add our three chicken breasts to it. Again, you can use whatever you like. Up to you. This piece is too tasty. Mm. And maybe you want more meat, maybe you want less meat, maybe you want less vegetables. Again, totally customizable. You can add other things to this as well. If you like different kinds of beans, um, if you like other little things in your tacos. I like this. It's a, just it's a variety uh, of different things here. And it's colorful. I love eating colorful foods like this. Stir it in. Get that uh, uh, chicken all heated up again. Perfect. So then, I'm saying perfect a lot. I'll try it. I'll work on it. It's hard. It's one of these things, you know? Now, if when you get tomato sauce, if you have your own tomatoes, awesome. Even more epic. You take them from the garden, you put them in a blender, you blend one or two up, and then you add the rest, and then it blends all of them a lot easier. There's a pro tip for it. Um, you're set. So much better. But, since I don't have them, I bought um, a canned one. So we have Vons. The biggest thing, no salt added. Watch out for this stuff. Try getting low sodium, no salt added. Anytime you get anything like that, try for those things. The low sodium, no salt added. So we're going to pour that right in with our chicken and all of our veggies. Right in there. Excellent. See, mixing up our words a little bit here. Having fun. Now, again, customizable. So it all depends how much um, sauce you like. If, you're, if you like yours a little bit saucier, then totally add more, right? You can add two cans. I like one because it just adds just enough um, to kind of bind it together even more. So now we're gonna add our seasoning. We're gonna add cayenne pepper. We're gonna put two shakes on two. And our paprika now. I'm not measuring this stuff out. I'm doing it by shake. So up to you how much you wanna put in. Paprika, we're gonna go, um, seven shakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm doing it so I see a lot come out. If it's like half a month, on more. Um, we're going to do mm, eight chili. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just because it felt like I need a little more. And cumin, we're going to add just a little bit of that. We're going to add five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like even numbers. And we're going to mix it all in. So I'm going to turn this down to low because all we need to do that is let that simmer, soak up all that flavor. You totally could have added that in when you were making the onions or the garlic. That's totally cool. Yeah. So again, if you want more sauce, if you like a little saucier, feel free to add more. Another great thing about this is you can make this for good lunches, right? For dinner. So you can plan it out. You can prep it and like make a big thing like I'm doing here. This is more than a meal for Katie and I. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it. We're going to pre uh, put it in like Pyrex containers or something like that that's freezer safe. Put it in the freezer. Boom. You're set for dinners. You're set for lunches. Take it to your work. Heat it up. Oh, amazing. All right. So as I was talking, if you didn't notice, I turned on our other pan here. It's not a pan with some uh, coconut oil that you saw me put in there earlier. Heating that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our... Uh, zucchini noodles in there. Just right in with that oil. I'm going to grab, because I forgot to prep this, um, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder to it. Just a little bit, 
because I find that helps out. So we're just stirring this. So as we're doing this, as we're waiting for this pan to heat up, should be any second now. Uh, we started a three uh, three week fitness group on today. Today's Monday. Three week fitness group today. It started. So we got um, a lot of people out there bringing it with Shift Shop and Beach Body Workout. Uh, of other workouts happening in there that people are busting and bringing it. Essentially, they're going after their goals. They're doing it to chase their passions to the fullest. And if you want to chase your passions to the fullest, hit me up. Let me know. We have another group starting uh, next month, and I'd love to have you be part of it. We can help you get set. And if you want to start earlier than that, awesome. Let's help you chase your passions to the fullest through Beachbody On Demand. It's like Netflix of fitness. You can take those workouts anywhere in the country. You get your phone, that you know, phone, tablet, anything that gets internet. If you have Apple TV, you get the app, and then you just watch it. Real cool, right? And then you put it on, you don't just watch it, you do the workouts. You watch it and do it. Don't be lazy, just watch. Do it. Okay, enough of that. If you're interested, hit me up, let me know. I'd love to have you joining my group, my three-week fitness group that starts next month as well. I'd love to have you be part of that. Um, so there you go. All right, we have our zucchini noodles. Look at this. Ha ha. So you can cut, chop these up if you like them a little smaller. I'm gonna throw the whole thing right in here. Get it sizzling, know it's right. Okay. All right, again, a little bit of onion powder. And then a little bit of garlic powder. That's all I am. So I'm going to use, we're gonna use our spatula here. I'm just gonna spread them out in the pan. Perfect. All right, let me show you what this whole thing looks like as it's cooking here, because we're gonna be eating shortly. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. And there are the zucchini noodles all cooking up. So we're gonna let that stay on that one side. Oh yeah, over there. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're gonna let that stay on the one side here till just about brown. So like, just as it's turning over and starting to get brown, that's when we're gonna flip it. Once it gets, I can talk really. Once it gets brown again, then that's when you take it off. So just, just about brown, flip, just about brown, take it off, put it on the plate, put your topping on it, boom. There you have your taco spaghetti. That's it, all right? So we're gonna wait just a little bit so you can be see it. Doesn't take too long, I got it on. Oh, I got a medium, I can just turn a little higher, a medium high. Help it cook a little faster. The nice part about these, it doesn't take that long, a minute or two, and you're such a rock and roll. Now, you can make this with your kids or your family, have them be part of it. What I highly suggest doing, if your kids are, you know, old enough to handle a knife and do all that stuff, have them join you. Have them cut up the, uh, the peppers and the garlic. Show them, show them those knife skills safely so that they are they're excited to join you and can help you out, right? If they're not, maybe they can um, wash and strain the, the black beans or something like that, or help you cook the corn or shred the chicken, right? Things like that. Get them involved, even if they can't, right? Let's say they, they can't do those things, right? Um, so you prep it. You do what I did. You get it all set up. You get bowls, right? It doesn't have to be glass bowls. You just get like your a bowl that you have. You put the ingredients in it. How cool is it for them? You get your pan going. You're like, okay, toss it in this now. Toss in this, toss in the corn, right? See those things, They're, they'll light up, they could be part of it, they can be hanging with you. So much of this is hanging with your family that you know, makes it worthwhile. That's why you love doing what you do, hopefully, for your family or for yourself, right? Perfect. So these are just about brown, a little bit early. I'm gonna let that go, and we'll be set. So I'm gonna top it off by putting mini noodles on the plate and then the topping on it, mix it all up, and you are set to rock and roll. That's it. That's all that easy. Simple as that. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, anything you want to see me cook, if you have a challenge for me, or like um, what uh, what Robert and his son suggested, they this is a recipe they suggested. It's a vi uh, visitor. It's a viewer recipe. I can think. If you have a recipe you'd like to see me cook, put it in the comments below. If you're watching this on YouTube, put it in the comments below. I'd love to know. Love to see and hear your thoughts and comments. Let's see, you looking good? Yeah, a little bit longer. I like it a little more. I get excited. I just can't wait. It's so good. 
So again, depends how much sauce you want on there. All right, we're about ready to rock and roll. Turn that up, we'll keep that on low, just keep that sucker warm. All right, we're gonna take the noodles. Should have chopped them up in half, that's right. This is Katie and I, right? So if you were owned a restaurant, you wouldn't do this, but it's Katie and I. Okay, come on, come on. We're on live TV, we're on live on Facebook. And we have a knife for a reason. Lay it back in our place. Chop it. There we go. Get some seasoning on here. Or seasoning. You get the topping. Your chicken taco meat. Now, we made this and put these in soft shells and taco shells, uh, you know, hard shells and soft shells, or just plain, and it's freaking amazing. So, here you go, folks. Here is your delicious, amazing different taco spaghetti a healthy version of it thank you so much for watching everybody appreciate it even a little rambling at the end i really appreciate watching the show please like it share it with your friends family subscribe to our youtube channel we got lots of cool things happening out there as well lots of cool videos and yeah thanks for watching if you have a suggestion put in the comments below again have a great day great week eat healthy be well and go be fit catch y'all later